Chapter 11 In the Dark Ignis's resolve forces a reconciliation between Noctis and Gladiolus, and restores harmony to the group. With renewed vigor, the four friends reboard the train and head for Tenebrae, home of the late Lady Luna Freya. I don't know, that didn't really feel that much of a reunion. That more felt like a bit of a stitching together of everyone but Gladio. Where Gladio is just like, fine! But then the others are just like, yeah, we're here for you, Ignis. Feels good to ride the rails. Sure does. Eager to drive once we're in Gralia. <laughs> if they'll let me. <laughs> we're fortunate to have the regalia at all. We owe the first secretary our thanks. She'd get more thanks if she gave us a discount. Those transceivers are top notch. I recall when the Hydrian raged. In the midst of the Empire's retreat, one conspicuous craft remained behind. The Chancellor's. The last thing I remember seeing was his ship heading for the altar. I fell unconscious and was powerless to stop him. I'm just glad you're alive. Oh, is someone else there? Gladio, he just came back. Where did he go anyway? On a brief reconnaissance. Something caught my ear. Hey, Captain. Mission complete. Splendid. So what caught your ear? Rumors of longer nights. They've been growing longer day by day. And there was talk of it back in Lucis, but recent days have shown an unseasonably sharp change. Huh. Should this trend continue, before long, there won't be daylight. Well, it's not out of the question. The Empire has already slain half of the six. <laughs> no wonder the whole world's in disarray. I guess. And longer nights mean more demons. Seen that with our own eyes. I happened to overhear a fellow passenger discussing this very same phenomenon. So he sent yours truly to seek him out. Nice police work. Well, don't want to keep him waiting. No, we don't. Back in a moment. Sure. And we don't conclude Noctis in this way. Look at that countryside. Mountains. Eh? Whoa! Oh, there you are, buddy. Did you see this? Oh, it's unreal. The snow? Yeah. The lighty snow stuff? What be a cutscene? seen anything like it. Cludes. He's never seen Cludes. Doesn't make any sense. Or is it darkness falling upon the world? Well, that was a noise thingy. <laughs> Time stop. Gentiana. Arden? It's a real uh. mystery. I'm not liking that snow cloud. Kind of gives me the chills. Like, who comes up with this stuff? I couldn't dream something like this if I tried. It's a wondrous world. What the hell are Whoa. you doing here? What's going on? Easy there, buddy. Oh, didn't see that coming. You all right? Come on. Careful there! Wait, is this for real? What are you talking about? He seems what? surprised. No. Show yourself! Is this for real? Uh, mocked. <laughs> he's in my head. It could be that he's going insane and that is actually one of his friends. That he's chasing down. Oh, come on, Noct. You're scaring me. Seriously, man. Cut it out. Yeah, that doesn't sound like his dialogue. That doesn't sound like Arden dialogue. I think Arden may have poisoned Noct, and he's having a hallucination. That does It's not safe. Plus, you're causing a scene. Quit playing around, okay? You think 
this is funny? Dude, are you seriously trying to kill me? See? Why wouldn't I? I got I knew it. You asked you following me around this whole time. It's all your fault. What are you talking about? Yep, I know. Do you really mean that, Nog? <laughs> what are you saying it's not? Yes. What good would it do me to hurt you? Who cares? Knocked. Please, can't we talk for a sec? Never. <laughs> I will find it hilarious if that's actually Arden, but I just know that that's a hallucination and not actually Arden. Isilio. The deserts of the western continent have... Been, long been littered with imperial armories and outposts. The slaying of the Glacian, however, gave birth to a paradoxical phenomenon. Snow fields and sn sand dunes coexisting mere miles apart. Noctis and his friends would be wise to flee this treacherous terrain post haste. Ah, so they already killed my. Ah, oh, come on. I wanted to see more God. That's why you have to say the guy's name. Azunia, I'm going to kill you. He's like, I'm not Azunia. What are you talking about? I can clearly see you. Boom! Problem solved. Monologue a little. Because hmm, but I wonder who could it have been that was the hallucination of Arden if that actually wasn't Arden. Did they bomb us? What the hell? Not. We have to protect the people. Because if that that's either was. I wouldn't be surprised. That might be, like, Gladio, maybe. But actually, the only ones that I think would fit being the fake Izunia would be Ignis or Prompto, but I don't think Ignis would have dodged as well. Noise. Why you come to try and do... Well, the MTs can self destruct. We can't let them inside. Well, then, we take the fight to them. Ah! Imperial shock troopers are attempting to blow up the train. Take them down before they get too close. If the train takes the game's over. That thing is huge. Hey, yeah, yeah. company. Let the party begin. Die. Die. Yes, quite the army. <laughs> the music starts, the music stops. Bye. Blast him in the butt. Shock Trooper. <laughs> that actually works. Sorry, good dudes. 
But why is the dam get it still getting damaged? Let me look. Quest. Uh, okay. Not just. I wish I just could. Okay, good. But I still have to wonder who could be the fake Azunia if that is a fake Azunia. Because his. The way he talked was too weird. He said, dude, and that. But maybe that was him trying to make me question, but at the same time, I still want to like Azunia. He killed Luna, still want to like him. Because he's just such a weird guy. I dig the weird dude. He's interesting. An Imperial tank has also begun firing the tank. Point warp to the tank, destroy it before it shoots. If the train takes no damage... Hello, dude. Holy crap. You're strong. Now let me guess, I have to wait for... Protect the train while it's in motion. Imperial assault crafts have also begun to fire the train. Point work to the ships to destroy them. Oh, yes! I saw a minor gameplay of this. How to destroy them, though? Yes! Once aside... Force the shock troopers to self-destruct or use one of the turrets to take down the four assault crafts. If the train takes damage, the game is over. Hate. Quit keeping me busy. I can't do things. I can't get out. I can't get out. I couldn't get out. It wouldn't let me leave. 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 I was out there, just like, where's my point warp? Where's my point warp? Where's my point warp? But because, I guess, the... It left the battle area or something. Ten years in development. Ten years in development. Okay, quickly kill these guys, and then hopefully not... Man, those things are going fast. And hello, Im uh, Imperial Star Trooper monster thingy. Well, I already killed them. Kill the assault craft. Whoop. 
can't. I can't get back down. Ah, uh, there we go. That's a plot twist. So, basically, Prompto was the dream of uh, Izunia. And then, for the rest of the thing, Izunia was Prompto. Ah, that makes sense. Arden uses a stitch in time to switch appearances of Prompto and tricks Noctis into hurting his closest friend. Nevertheless, a king pushes ever onward, accepting the consequences and never looking back. Chapter 12, End of Days. I'm getting to the end, near the end of the game, because I think there's only 13 or 14 chapters? I'm pretty sure, but I called it. That was a false Azunia. But it did trick me with the Prompto, because the way the dude and stuff, uh, my first guess would have been Prompto, except Izunia took his place by the time, so, and nothing seemed that off. But I guess the minor quirks in it, the Prompto speech should have given me pause, like, like, what are we gonna do? Shoot him? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, we can finally warp onto battleships now. And Prompto's gone. Damn it. Prompto's, but Prompto isn't dead because of the future vision. What's wrong? Ignis, you've got to stop this thing. Prompto fell off the train. I pushed him. I mean, Arden made me. I don't know where he is, but we can't leave him. Stay calm, Noct. I'm as concerned for Prompto as you are. But stopping the train would endanger everyone on board. We'd be sitting ducks for the demons. What do we do? First, we drop the passengers off at Tenebrae. We'll be arriving shortly. What about Prompto? Given the Chancellor's involvement, it's probable he's no longer where we left him. In any case, he may try to contact us. Let us wait and hope for now. Can you make your way here? Gladio's with me. Are the two of you okay at least? Yes. Okay, on my way. Huh? I'll be there as soon as I take care of these stowaways. And things just got worse. Stinky gargoyle. Ow. Ow. You're not even hurting me, you're just knocking me down. And that's just annoying. I figured once we entered the tunnel that things would get bad. I see you. Lock on, lock on, doop. But yeah, that was a good twist. That was a very good twist for the Arden messing with me because even though I knew he was messing with me in the beginning, the with the more obvious like dude you're scaring me are you really trying to kill me but then afterwards uh when he was prompto instead of prompto being with uh yeah with him instead of prompto being arden and arden being prompto he actually tricked me die die annoying knockback monsters Well, at least these guys aren't that hard to kill. Because I'm overleveled, maybe. I don't know what the optimal level per chapter is.
Don't like the sound of that. Oh, fuck. Die. Ow. Hate knockback enemies that don't do no damage. That's the summon music. Oh, hey, it's the bitch. What are you here for your revenge? I mean, you did save me, but you also almost hit me. Maybe you're a careless guardian. And Tenebrae is burning. The, today is not your day, Noctis. Luna died because Arden killed her. Then Arden made you push your friend off the train. Well, look who's here. Harnea. Guess we've got you to thank for this mess. More to it than meets the eye. You want to know who to thank? Come with me. But yay, at least we got the ability to jump onto the war, uh, the warships. <laughs> Hopefully it sticks. This. Because I did see it in open world gameplay. Where, like, where the glitch where Noctis flew up into the air. What did you do to your eyes? Just a flesh wound. Yeah. Can you see? I'm afraid not. Wow, that sucks. It's a cruel world. Uh, wasn't there one more of you guys? Yeah, there was. We lost track of him. Is he dead? I, I don't know. Then quit moping, keep hoping. And in the meantime, handle what's at hand. What do you think I was doing with the train? Well, I mean, I, Noctis did, did say, Push, so stop the train. You, we thank. Oh, thank the demons. Pawns of the Imperial Army. The army that you fight for. Fought for. My men and I are in the search and rescue business now. Yeah, I guess that's why they don't have any automatons with them. Only the actual dudes. You mentioned being part of the relief effort. We have a favor to ask. Ask away. In light of what you've told us, we can't allow the other passengers to continue on. Sure, leave them to me. But who's gonna drive the train? Now that you mention it, yeah. Do you know anyone? I do. In fact, I know two. Those dudes? Your new engineers. Figs and Wedge. No need to worry. We can take a lickin'. Only if we have to. What sort is the path? Driving a train to Gralia. Is that all? Well, who would you have me ask? Because they will do it. They really appreciate you going out of your way. Yeah. No sweat. I'm going to save because it's been a little bit. And because I'm not sure, let me go ahead and save here. I'm not sure if I can move on ahead towards Tenebrae or what, like, if there's anything I can miss here. Can I not pass the bridge? So more than likely, since it's called where she lived, talk to Briggs will probably take us to the capital. Thanks for the lift. We're happy to help. Can't say the climate will be as cooperative, though. You know? Right. Especially the gorge. The place is freezing. Makes sense what with the ice goddess's cold corpse lying around. It's a rather long ride, so I suggest you bundle up before we ship out. By the way, I bumped into a woman from the manor. Used to serve house flore. 
Must have gone off looking for you. Said she had something important to discuss. With me? I guess I ought to find her then. Oh, Briggs and Wedge, you happy little dude. See? Told it. Knew it. We'll be waiting on board. Give us a holler when you're ready. Shall we? Yeah. Give me more magic! What is with these piss poor magic. Dis magic. Uh, dispensers? Hello there! Prince Noctis! Tell me your secrets! My word. Is that you, Prince Noctis? I. yeah. Have we. Oh, blessed be the stars. Just look at what a fine young man you've grown into. I am Maria, a retainer in service to House Florey. I doubt you'll remember me after these long years. I, um, can't say I do. Don't worry. Who I am is of little import in light of what I wish to discuss. Lady Luna Freya risked everything to spirit the Ring of the Lucii away from the Citadel. Did she deliver it to you? Yeah. yeah. Wait, did Arden Stars take it? Above. My fears have been assuaged. Lord Ravis too will be overjoyed to hear this. But Ravus is evil. Ravis too. Or did he rebel? Well, flashback. Back in Altissa. No. She, what? I beg of you. Please. See the ring to Noctis. On my behalf. Why are you acting all like, oh, I'm dying? What do you mean? What's this? No, I cannot accept it. No. By your hand. It must be done. I swear, if it's another Swipadoo where he was. Deliver the ring and inspire the king is your calling. You mustn't fall. Find it, Luna Freya. You have the world. But he was a giant Go jerk. He went put on the ring himself in the movie. The That's why he has a metal arm. What the hell? But what do you mean your flesh is failing you? What is this? I'm composed. I understand you will go hence to the Imperial Capital. I'm gonna stab an Emperor. Lord Ravis has King Regis's glaive in his safekeeping, and it was his wish to return it to you, my Prince. Though I imagine it will not be easy for you to find each other. I'll get it from him somehow. I pray it shall be so. Much story. Now she's waiting for me. What do you want, Arnea? About the crystal. Remember how I said it was locked away? Uh, yeah. They really don't allow anyone near the thing. The Emperor himself never got close to it. The lab rats had a theory that the crystal posed some kind of threat to the demons the way they see it that's the reason the chancellor had the emperor go after it in the first chancellor place. had the emperor hmm. don't know but that theory holds water in my book certainly explains why the kings have always guarded the crystal 
and how they kept the demons at bay. Long story short, we're stuck in this rut until you go and take back what's yours. Yeah, I'm just gonna ask, why did you just so suddenly turn on your bosses? Like, then again, you haven't, you didn't really do all that much as a villain. Bloodsword, still have something better. Thunderbolt, same thing, Weberlands, Delta Daggers, Flame Gun, Hero Shield, Orc Card, yeah, nothing new. Pogua Legionius. <laughs> Find funny that these guys don't talk. We wear helmets. We cannot speak. I don't know. Hopefully chapter 13 and 14 will be really long chapters. Because if it's too short, I'm going to be a little bit angry. Eh? Your face is emotionless. You're a creepy little girl. What is this? You're weird. At first, the father had mourned the fate of his chosen son. Yet in Tenebrae, the two found solace. It was not the oracle who assuaged their fears. But the girl... She holds the true power. Eh? I have little to offer a king other than the voice afforded the oracle. Nevertheless, and I'm afraid you might find this foolish, but to be together with Noctis again, even if only for a short while, it would mean the world to me. Oh, sudden humanization of a m emotionless monster. I do not seek to guide him. Merely to stand beside him. Your entire thing has been like, I shall guide you, I shall guide you. That is my purpose as Oracle. Destiny, bullshit. And now, what the hell? Lady Lunafreya worried she was burdening you with the wedding. That's not true, is it? No, not at all. I shall call bullshit. You did not show that much emotion. It's just like, like, oh yes, I truly do love him. It's just like, you are on and on and on and on about destiny and stuff. The Empire. 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 So you're Lady Luna Freya's fiance, right? Want to know something? Okay then. Everyone knows she liked pretty flowers, but you want to know what else she liked? Pool stickers. It has to be true. I think I've heard that voice before. That's obviously a woman doing a kid's voice, but I could swear I've heard that voice before. It's rather strange. Lady Gentiana has not graced us with her presence as of late. <sighs> Perhaps she has no reason to stay now that the blood of the Oracle is no more. Like her, others will eventually leave, and the land of Tenebrae will be lost to memory. You're depressing as all hell. I guess we should give up on the capital. Yeah, ought to find somewhere safer to hawk our wares. <laughs> sob, 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 sob. The Empire has declared Lord Ravis a traitor and sentenced him to death. I believe the attack on the manor was further punishment. But yeah, still not buying the whole, oh, I actually did love him all this time. It's just like, you were so on the whole destiny kick. 
if you showed a bit, like, I would have bought it if she was, like, prim and proper destiny this, destiny that in front of other people, but then occasionally slips of humanity might show through her in regards to Noctis. That just wasn't the case for pretty much this entire game, so no. Watering the flowers herself. Sadly, the whole field went up in flames. Uh, it's heartbreaking to see what's become of it. Ready to depart. Just swapped out the damage cards for some new ones. Give one of us a holler when you're ready to shove off, then. Dining car is open, if you need a break. Ah, uh, that's how they keep up the... Oh, you can go do side quests if you want by having the dining car be open. That way you can go sleep, call Umbra, and go to the past thingies. There's just a lone guy in here at the rest. Welcome. You've been through a lot today, haven't you? What's on your minds? Take a look at the menu. <laughs> Cookie. We'll see you around. For 500 gil? Bite me, mood. I have half a mind to call Umbra and go back to say, like, uh, Lucius? Because there are, like, a few quests. Like, how many quests do I have? Better crossbow, better that. Buried memories. Never did do that. It's like, oh, go get berries from Altissa. Didn't do that. Photo op bar. Never did that. And then Frogs of Legend. It's just like, those quests don't interest me at all. Why can't I run? Why am I stuck walking? So yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and continue just because I'm kind of side quested out from everything. It's just like the ones that are left are like the level 99 turtle. Shall we shove off, then? Yeah. Because more than likely there will be chances to call Umbra later as well. Don't worry about the civilians. They're in my good hands. Can't say the same for you. Watch yourselves in the capital. We will. <laughs> Thanks, Arnea. And we'll see you around. The cool little mechanic with you coming... It's, it's snowing. The cool... Get your ass on board. Yes, sir. But the cool little mechanic where Arnea would show up to help you fight demons in the middle of the night completely wasted and poorly optimized. Goravas Rift, a frozen ravine where the fallen Shiva lies. A solitary railroad carved through it its unforgiving snowscape. With Biggs and Wedge di driving, the train makes its slow and steady way towards the Imperial capital. More than likely, we're probably going to have to fight the body of Shiva. But I mean, really... I just feel like um, the all the Empire killed three of the gods just sounds like such poorly written bullshit. Like, if they killed one, I would be like, holy shit. But because it's three, it's just like, they don't have to program any boss fights. They don't have to program any summons. I haven't even seen the Titan come help me, even though I'm fairly certain that the Titan can come and help you as a a summon during battle, but because the summons are so poorly done in this game, pfft, I only kept getting the the lightning dude. I like his voice. Look at all that snow. No wonder it's so cold in here. We must be approaching the Glacian's cadaver. Won't be a blessing if all we got's a body. Let us hope we pass through the gorge without incident. Of course we won't. It's what's after the gorge I'm worried about. I'm gonna go walk through this 
hollow place. Noctis is free to roam until the train arrives. This again! I won't be sub You know what I expect? I honestly expect Prompto to be shaken up from what Noctis did and stuff. That he actually uh, sides with enemies. And we have to be like, no, we actually like you. You're our friend. Because, I mean, what he did was he attacked him like he was Azunia. And then... When Prompto had Azunia at gunpoint, what did he do? He came and saved Azunia from him, and he might not have... Wait. Grelian Medal of Distinction. That's weird. What is this Grelian Medal of Distinction? It's so sad to see us and us alone. Uh, where would it be? Ah, uh, an award presented to citizens of the Imperial Capital in honor of outstanding achievements in the field of excellence. It has some value and could fetch a decent price. Oh. But yeah. I wonder what's going with Prompto. Oh! Oh! I think I now know what the three episodes following the individual characters will be. First, we have Gladiolus, who is going to be... Uh, who is going to go off and do his own thing before we go to Vesperpool. Once we get through Gorbus, we're there. We've come quite a long way. Ignis's is either going to be coming up shortly, or his episode will be about his fight in Altissa, where he loses his sight and was unable to do anything to stop Izunia. And Prompto's single mission uh, episode that's coming out later is going to follow him after he was attacked by... Uh, Good old Noctis here. You have to wonder what dictated what. Did the story happen that you're just like, hey, we can turn this into bonus content? Or did uh, they like, hey, we need bonus content. And it's like, oh, we can do this and it'll cause story stuff. Because I honestly won't like it that much if it's uh, the story was dictated by DLC plans. It's a cool idea, but at the same time... I'm a little shaky on what, on, on like, uh, Gladius. His little thing is just like, oh, I have something to do. It's just like, what are you doing? We have no idea. This wasn't presented anywhere. Maybe in the anime, but I didn't watch the anime. In the game solely, nothing was uh, presented to say, hey, he maybe he has unfinished business somewhere. Something is going to go do it. Prompto's at least makes somewhat sense, because, hey, it's an out-of-nowhere twist that's kind of cool. What could this be? Satan. Prompto. Hey, what's up? Okay. Oh. Thanks for letting us know. What? What? I have expected, he's like, Prompto, he's like, I'm at the Shiva's dead body. He was like, stop the train, we have to go save Prompto. That would have been interesting, but, uh. What was that? What? Who called? Weird. Is that the dead body or is that a statue? Uh-oh. Time. Yeah. What's wrong? You may have noticed we stopped at the call. Outside the gate. We'll take a look. Oh, well. I hope it's just a quick <laughs> Oh, well. Wow. Indeed. Is that Shiva? It's freezing. <laughs> What's with the white compass? Warm. The Glacian did this. I think I can see her. It's a shame. She's lying dead. Damn, it's cold. Let's clean up out of here. Warm up in there. Better make this happen. Kill this monster. I mean, this makes a cool backdrop, but still. 
I still find it a little bit lazy. It's just like, oh no. I can't, didn't even get to see that, and it's full. I'm sad. Well, that was a missed shoot. I didn't even know it was going to happen, and I'm the one that did it. But yeah, I still find it the taddest bit lazy that it's just like, oh no, three of the gods are dead. The, so you're telling me these pansy asses killed Bahamut. Deathclaw, we fall out now? Oh, Jesus! What the hell is you? But yeah, because I mean, they did barely did anything to, uh, cause, yeah, because the Empire, they barely did anything to the Titan and the uh, Aquarius. So you're telling me they managed to kill three gods? They managed to kill three of the gods that we never even got to meet. When they got blown away by Aqu I, keep, I keep wanting to say Aquamentus, but I know that's not it. When they were completely destroyed by the aqua Aquatic One, the Water God, the Titan completely blasted them as well. They never even got to fight the Lightning Dude. And it's just like, yeah, that thing, they were able to kill her. Bullshit. What's up? You better get in here. Something's Got not it. right. Come on, there in a sack. Right. No way. You hold it. Are you really gonna fall for it again? He's in your brain. The hell? He's in your brain, boy. Well, at least you didn't lose the jacket. Is this really you, Azunia, or is it another? Stop! Stop, damn it! Where is he? Where's Pronto? Oh, there you are. I'm worried about your friends. They've fallen and they can't get up. <laughs> Why not lend them a hand? Oh, how meme of you, dear Azunia. A coldness that can only be hers. The Glacian? She ain't dead? Gintania? <laughs> she ain't having no snark. Let me guess. You're actually the Glacian. Let it now be done as promised to the Oracle. Tiana, it's you. Called it. The Glacian. Last minute called it, but I still find it kind of bullshit. What? O king of kings, restore light unto the world. Also, kinky. Sister, cease this madness. That boy will never be king. 
Noctis is chosen. It is ordained. You of all people should know. I know that you are throwing your life away. That may be. But if my choice... You know you're literally quoting Dragon Ball Z abridged there. his voice once more quit trying to humanize the destiny totem woman if we could laugh together as we did as children the monotone destiny mongerer it is destiny it is ordained it's like oh but i'm also human because of this last minute stuff that was not seen anywhere in the other stuff like maybe hinted at a very very little bit well this is just laying it on thick That's just weird. She was actually Shiva all along. How? Did they kill her and then she was reborn? More than likely that wasn't actually Azunia. If it was, I'm gonna be sad. That's no way to kill off a main character. Well, main antagonist. Wake up. Izunia and uh, Shiva. I saw the glacier. It's okay. She's gone now. You guys check out our drivers. Got it. You good? Yes, I'm fine. Let's go. My question is, why was she freezing up the place? No, she dead. She dead. Don't you pull non bullshit. I congratulated her for killing her off. Don't you dare try and revive her. Just let him be hallucinating some more. He crazy, let it be. I wanted to stay dead. I wanted to stay dead. So hard. I guess it was hard for you too. I'm sorry. I couldn't be here for you. See. <laughs> Noctis has actually shown emotion over the course of everything. Luna so much. No. She barely showed emotion during the movie. And she barely showed emotion throughout this entire game. It's just suddenly last minute emotion, just like, come on. I will still forever see her as the destiny toting. I am the Oracle, I will do as destiny says. This is the way it's meant to go. <sighs> he didn't die. I feel I've earned the right to call you not. <sighs> you creepy. For a moment, I felt death's chill wind. Such is the might of the gods. But then I remembered I'm immortal. Such is my blessing and curse. Your attack hurt me, nevertheless. My feelings, at least. And after all the memories we've shared, remember this. Ah, I should have asked if you remember him. Truly a blast from the past. Nay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You mustn't take what's not yours. Where is he? He? <laughs> the little gunman's a short shot away. Where? Where else but Gralia, the seat of the Empire? I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. And you might even find your crystal. With all these demons about, you could certainly use it. <laughs> Off you go, then. I wouldn't want to keep you from your friend. 
<laughs> Why you do? That's a handy bit of exposition. That explains how he was here and smacked around, like, broken into pieces. But now he's still here. So apparently he's immortal. That's interesting. Chapter 13, Redemption. Having stolen Noctis' country, Crystal, and cherished companions, Arden waits impl implacably in Gralia. Implacably? Implicably. Implacably? Implacablanca. Oompa loompa -ly. Somebody brought out their thesaurus. We should be drawing close to Gralia. Yeah. I can't imagine what it'll be like. Swarming with demons, but we knew that. Huh. Don't remind me. Once we arrive, we'll make for the keep. The keep? Zegnortus, an imperial megafortress said to be impregnable. With Prompto and the crystal inside it. What goes in must come out. So, are we buying the story that the crystal can purge demons? The proof is in the purging, but it does stand to reason. We've observed that as the nights have grown longer, the demon hordes have grown stronger. If they are in fact averse to the crystal's light, it could save not only Lucis, but the world. <laughs> we'll find out once we take it back. Oh boy, more tunnel bull hunkery. The hell? What is it? My guess, something to sidetrack us. Don't you rattle at me. I'm the one who rattles. Inexplicably, the the crossover of the century, Final Fantasy, and Predator. Oh, damn it! We just replaced these trains. Arden has stripped Noctis of his weapons, fleet of the freight car at the back of the train. The ability to call Umbra is also unavailable. Oh, god damn it. That better not be permanent, because... Only a matter of time before we run out of room to... Run! Got a better idea? We trade the train for the regalia. Come on! On my way! Knocked! The freight car! Keep moving! Luckily, it's one of the parts where only I matter. I am the main character. Strap in. Yeah. Got it. Where's Ignis? We only saw Gladio get in. Get to the gate before it closes. Threat upgraded. Activating level four security measures. Sealing all gates. The siege defenses has begun to seal, has begun sealing all entrances. Make it to the Gralia before the gate closes. Okay. Put the pedal to the metal. That's but what happened to Biggs and crash. Wedge? Thanks for the tip. Right. Where are we now? Inside a tunnel. On the train tracks. Don't slow down, or they'll catch us up. Going as fast as I can. Hang on. All right, an actual driving section. Congratulations. This is the fir one of the first legitimate uses of the car I've seen in a long while. Over. 
It'll take a bit more than that to stop His Majesty's trusty steed. Dodging one thing to run into another. The Regalia can take the punishment. Just Why is there already a derailed train here? I think I was too fast and furious. That's all she's got. It'll do. <laughs> his car was his door was already blown off. Saddening moment. Say goodbye to the last piece of your father. Daddy! Now have it burst into flames and explode. Tell me at least.